Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're back for some more cash games, playing 1-2 with a $200 bind. So we got limp we raise, goes for the min click. Alright, I'm just going to call, I only have like 134 hands against this player, so don't want anything too out of line here, I don't think. Uh, Saint with Falling Saint. Once we just call though, we are going to assume this is going to go four ways to the flop. So it is kind of awkward on these flops where we flop the over pair, but we see what this player does. They decide to check. So I think I'm going to go small with the intention to fold if we get check raised anywhere. This is uh, maybe not the best, <laughs> but I think I mainly prefer doing this here and then checking turn quite a bit. Wow, everybody to the turn. Well, <laughs> all right. So I don't think we jam here because it'd be 2x pot effective against one player and pot and half against another. I think when we see a bet for 46, though, we do. I think now we just jam. It's a wet enough board where there's potential four liners and such on the river. We're going to stack other sets anyways. I don't think anyone's going to have jack nine very likely. I mean, big blind maybe, but we're just going to get it in. Basically here trying to stack like eight sevens and fives at this point now. See one all in. So that's the one we're most worried about having Jack nine is Arlen, but he's also gonna have, like I said, all those sets too. So let's see what we got. Jack nine, King nine, man. Oh, brother. I thought that turn card was so good. So we have undergun open, we three bet. Let's see the call. King nine, seven, go for half pot here. Get raised pretty big. Um, I th even though we're in position, I think we're just gonna get this in. I'm trying to think what we wanna do. Yeah, I think we're just gonna get this in. I don't hate the idea of just calling though, but. King nine flops two pair. Lose there. Here we three bet pre, get called. Bet big, they're gonna jam us in on the flop. We call as queens. Oh man, two frustrating hands there back to back. Three bet pots in both. Good river here. So we call the turn. Get called king three. Let's go. Wow, huge pot. Huge pot running nines gets us paid. And get three bet here, pre-flop, we check call, six turn, and if we get a face of bet here, this is gonna be a jam on the turn. So this is hijack versus button. So worst hands I can call off, ace, queen of hearts, king, queen of hearts, ace, king of hearts, stuff like that. Even pocket tens in his spot here. So sometimes I would see we cool ourselves, aces, kings, queens. Um, I don't think he's gonna be three betting eights pre-flop, maybe. So I'm here, that's the only set we're really worried about. I don't think he's gonna have sixes, fours, or twos. So it's just gonna be a get in here. So the, like I said, the only slow roll I'm really worried about here is eights. So as king, queen of hearts, we got 65% and we end up being good. So yeah, I mean, that hand makes a lot of sense. That's a really tough spot when you have like those two overs in the flush draw. Cause like in that situation, like it's not too bad, but like in the situations where I have a set, it's just like really a disaster. Check raising queen 10 suit over here in the three bet pot. So we open hijack button, three bets we flat. Check raise the open ender, backdoor spades. Two on the turn. This is maybe wrong. I'm trying to get better at these spots. See the call is aces. That's a very bad hand to see. <laughs> so end up losing that one. I know there like you can on these turn spots, there's gonna be some um some big and some small sizes there. We're a bit deeper there, so I'm not sure I should play jams for 2x pot. Um, but unfortunately, just get stacked. And we'll go for the four bet again. So they start like 150 blinds deep. Calls very quickly. Pretty good flop here. Uh, start quarter pot. 3-3-2. Three, three, Raises. Um, let's see here. I think I'm going to just call the aces and kings and then get in like queens and jacks here. Just did not want to see an ace turn. To be fair, like I don't think they're going to have an ace very often. They check. 10 rivers kind of bags. We lose a 10s full now. I'm going to check this. If this is like a 9 or lower, I'm actually probably going to jam for value. And then here, if they jam, this actually becomes a kind of gross spot. I don't think they have a lot of ace x, but. Ugh, man. 
man, why does this have to be a 10? Because <sighs> that's what I'm trying to target there on the turn. If this is a 9 or lower claw, I think I'm going to fold a Queen Jack or 10 River. Thirty-seven hands against our opponent, so I don't really have a read. Oh, obviously could have just got that on the flop, but I didn't want them to make the fold with like the tens and nines. So, like I said, I would have jammed in queens and jacks in the flop, just because like we have more cards to worry about. Obviously, hitting the ace can happen, but it's not going to happen super often here. So, like the aces and kings, we have to do a lot less protection against over cards. So, I'm just going to fold here on the river. Kind of annoyed at that hand, to be honest. But all right, so three bet jacks here get called. Bet flop, check turn. That's probably going to call here and then call any non ace, queen, or spade river, given how much money's in here. So stick to the plan here. Obviously, not loving this, but if they jam, but going to stick with the plan, getting three to one. Shows the ace, deuce, and diamonds. Bluff catch good there. All right, so we've got hijack open, three bet nice king of clubs. See a pretty quick call here, six, five, four. Uh, I'm gonna go for a check here, and then if we get raise, just go, or bet suit, go for raise. If he checks, we'll check turns that we don't improve on pretty often. Could even just check call this one, honestly. Um, I think I'm gonna go for check raise though. So we'll stick to the plan. See the call, jack turn. And for pot here, just gonna jam it in. Hoping for a fold if we get called, get there. Ends up folding nines, so get the fold we were hoping for. So, and that's a tough spot for nines there too, though, because like even if I have the hand I have, I just have tons of equity. So that's like best case scenario. So we open a button flat, squeeze, or button three bet, cold call. And see the fold. This player goes call, call. 10, 10, 8, two clubs. And we'll start small. So we'll go quarter pot here. Snap calls, turn ace. Pretty good turn card here. I think we still go small again. I know we can lose to some 10x, but I think I like quarter pot again. Jams, not folding. As ace jack way ahead and we end up winning huge pot. So I think we still call king 10 suited, but I think I'm supposed to be a little bit tired than if it's just like I open and get three bets. So this is maybe supposed to be a tight fold, but do decide to call here. SPR is a little under three to one and we flop top pair, back to our flush draw. So bets out here, just gonna call. Turn two pair, all right, that makes life a lot easier. Uh, so could go either way between jam and check or call if he bets. I think I mainly want to just be calling though. And just get it in against this size here. It's got a little bit half behind. Has ace king, a very lucky turn. Here with ace jack, I'm gonna go for super exploit. So I'm just gonna target other ace x here and jam for like 10x pot against this player. So this player's playing 58, six and one. I don't think they're gonna eventually fold an ace. So I'm just gonna rip ace jack. They end up calling for the ace. So massive exploit there, but ends up getting this paid. That's a wild hand. This one's even crazier. So I cold four back queens. We go three ways to the flop. We flop middle set. Tanking here is because we have that other player and we're gonna get this in. Wow, three all in. Ace jack and 10 nine of diamonds. Wow, we got 62%, no diamond, no 10. Wow, we scoop a massive one. Back down here with this queen's hand that we played earlier. <laughs> Check jam, take that down. Pocket queens. Wow, they both had a flush draw with a gut shot. Such a dream spot for us. That was very fortunate. And we held too, even stronger. Um, over here with three bet the queens under the gun versus our button versus under the gun. Betting flop here, Jack 6 2. See the call, three spades turn. Pretty good turn card. And usually in these spots I'm playing three quarter a pot depending on stack depths. So basically just trying to size it up where um, it's gonna be a river jam for about pot. So in this spot we're deep enough where that's what we're gonna be doing. So again, it's not like, hey, I'm betting pot when I have good hands and three quarters when I don't. It's more or less like I try to look at stack size and decide if I'm either betting 75 or pot and then proceed from there in, the, in these spots here and like the turn and through that pots. 
So, anyways, betting turn with that said. River nine of clubs. Uh, let me think here. I think this is still a jam, but it's not like... So he's not going to have aces and kings pre, just flatting. So we have to hope like ace jack calls. Backdoor spades miss, which is, you know, something maybe he could put me on. So yeah, I think we have to jam queens here. I don't want to get snapped in this spot, but we can definitely get like king jack, ace jack suited stuff to call, I think. If we're going to, you know, like I said, I, it is nice to have this matchup here where he can have some more queen jack suited in range. Because I don't think he's going to have queen jack off suit in range, but he'll have queen jack suited. So eventually does call jack 10 suited. Same sort of thing. Doesn't have spades there either. So yeah, pretty tough spot for them, but it shows why we get to go for value with queens there, even if it's a little scary. Two bet pop pre flop here in a bet flop. Turn nine. Going to pop the turn here as a bluff. And then if we get called, I, I don't, having the spades bad if the spades miss, but we still block queen jack, which is good. So I think I'm still bluffing this one. We block some ace king that flats pre, the king queen. And then again, having a spade not ideal here, but I do block queen jack, which is good. Uh, so I think if we're gonna have some bluffs here, we probably still go for this one. Obviously don't wanna be called here. Please, it's always so sad when they tank down the last second and call. Ah, dang, good hand. King Jack, so blocks the Queen Jack, has top pair, doesn't have a spade, so yeah. Can't fault the call at all, nice call from Prome. Unfortunately, bluff no good. So I flop the over pair, Jack 8-5, go for bet. Goes for raise, all right, so we're pretty deep, so I don't think I wanna just get this in. We also block a lot of big draws, like Queen 10 suited. Um, so I think we just call here and then evaluate the turn. It's a weird one. <laughs> so depending on what size he is, he goes small, we can just straight up call uh, with the queens and the diamond. If he decides to jam here, I would probably just fold. Uh, and if he checks, we check. So ends up going for the small size, just give me a call. Take the river. And then seven on the end. So nine makes a straight. I'm trying to think if we ever need to turn this into a bluff versus like a set, because uh, I can rep flushes. Uh, depends, do I think he's check raising? He ends up jamming river and I'm just gonna fold here, but it be a thing too, so yeah. We're just gonna fold queens of the diamond. Not loving it, but we'll let it go. Let's see the four bets, and not doing this pure, but I'm gonna use the jam this time. And do get it through. All right, open ace king here, get three bets. Put in the four bet here. See the call. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and see that flop. Queen nine seven. If we get called here, potentially bluffing like a club turn. I'm trying to think if I wanna bluff now. Oh, I do block. He's king, king, queen, aces, kings. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the bluff jam here. I don't really love doing it with like no equity type hands, but <laughs> like I said, we block the aces traps, we block ace, queen, we block uh, king, queen even. Well, we don't block king, queen suited actually. So maybe this one's not as good to go for because we don't really block the king, queen suited, but do so block the ace, queen combos. So we're gonna go for it. Like I said, this might not be great, but do go for it and see the fold. Stick around for that if you guys are interested in some tournament content. And uh, we just flopped a royal flush. Just the royal. <laughs> All right, so we're going to bet the flop here in the race. <laughs> Is there a better dream than getting raised with the royal flush? 150 blinds deep. Just going to call. Two on the turn check. Pots it here. Um, I'm trying to think if I ever consider jamming versus this player and targeting their flushes. They're never going to fold a flush, but I want a board pair to slow down the action. I think I'm just going to call, but I actually don't hate the idea of, like, see here, now if they have clubs, it's going to be tilting if they just, like, check back a board pair river. Uh, they jam, we call. Wow, the ace is full. Oh, what a sick beat for them. Actually, that board pair was so good. So we're going to go for the four bet. This is underground versus hijack. See the call. Nine three two. Start quarter pot here. 
raises. Uh, I think for my opposition, I'm just gonna get it in. In position, we'd maybe consider some flats, but opposition just get it in. Hopefully, as like Queens or Jackson calls off, or if he has a flush draw, we fade it. Snaps it off. Jacks hold. All right, big cooler there going our way. All right, YouTube, that's the end of another cash game video and what a wild session today. So we started down $1,800, but we ended up booking a win of $433. So quite the swing, uh, swinging, I mean, tons and tons, I mean, 11 buy-ins. So hope you guys enjoyed the action-packed video today. And if you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever wanna catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description.